Hello and welcome to my bedroom. So, I was meant to be on a world tour. You're probably meant to be down the pub or uh, at a wedding, maybe going to a Zumba class. Either way, we're stuck. So, I thought I'd make a little show where my money goes to charity. I thought I'd interview famous faces and chat to unsung heroes, all in an attempt to lift your spirits. Talking of which, check this out. You would not believe your eyes. You would not believe your eyes. You would not believe your eyes. This guy wins my award for prank of the week. And finally, a workout we can all do. Do you know what this virus has taught me? Hollywood really underestimated us. Because every disaster film is the same. People are fighting and stealing and burning. We've been quite nice. Can you imagine the COVID-19 film in the future? Oh my God, the virus is here. Joe Wicks, teach the kids PE. Everybody else, watch Tiger King now. It's been unusual. Not once in a Hollywood film have I seen a small child cut his hair to look like an old man. Not once have goats invaded a Welsh town. We're applauding the NHS. We're dressing up to put the bins out. I mean, Christ, one bloke played the drums bollock naked. <laughs> I mean, nobody could have predicted that Gwyneth Paltrow would share her favourite vibrator to use during the lockdown. It's hilarious. Before all this, she was like, cherish your soul. Now she's like, forget about that. Arrrr. So ridiculous. Also, I thought Goop was ethical. I thought Goop cared about the world. What are vibrators made of? Plastic. Where's that going to end up, Gwyneth? In the sea. It's going to choke some fish. That'll be on a nature documentary. Here we see the Barramundi choking on one of Paltrow's fuck toys. Would it kill her to use her fingers? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is Hollywood got us wrong. Obviously there's been some assholes, you know, the sunbabers, the stockpilers, this man. Trump has been an absolute shit show. Here he is pushing a drug that has no proven benefits to people with the coronavirus. What do you have to lose? Take it. I really think they should take it, but it's their choice and it's their doctor's choice or the doctors in the hospital. But hydroxychloroquine, Try it. And what's the reason that the President of the United States is pushing this drug? I feel good about it. That's all it is, just a feeling. You've got a good feeling? People need facts. They don't need feelings. Christ, I had a good feeling when I was 13 that this haircut would be all right. It didn't. I look like Harry Potter's German pen pal. Your feeling could cost thousands of lives. All those glasses cost me were friends. We shouldn't be surprised though. I mean, this is a man who struggles with basic English. God bless the United States. The show is absolutely stuffed. Later on, I'll be interviewing an amazing postman. We've got music from the brilliant James Bay, but first, one of the best comedians in the country. It's Greg Davies. You're used to seeing Greg like this. There were hairs down there like the mooring ropes of the Titanic. But he's joining us today like this. There he is. Mm, looking good. Thanks, man. I mean, oh. uh, and congratulations for uh, being the first person to get me to put trousers on for the last month. Really? Can we have proof of that? Actually, it's not true. I haven't. I've got shorts on. Yeah, same well, I've made a bit of an effort. I've got a clean t-shirt and shorts on. Yeah, I've gone like that. Yeah. <laughs> that but I've put, I've, I've, put put like... I've put slightly posher shorts on for you than I would normally wear. Oh, nice. This feels like a very specific couple of cam boys. Are you familiar with that? <laughs> they... I'm not sure what a cam boy is, no. I think what they do is it's a, it's a little bit of dancing and then kind of money comes in. Oh, right. You think that, do you? Well, that's what I've heard. That's what you've heard, yeah. Well, I'm not familiar with the cam world, but if there's money to be made, tell me what I've got to do. 
what you've got to do, my friend, is get the right beats going, get the right lights, and just groove until that sweet cash comes in. Wow. Well, people will be able to log. People will be able to log onto that site one hour after this video is complete. Okay, great. Um, uh, we should come up with a name for it. Um, do- like a dancing name for me. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it shouldn't work, but it does. Ooh, dot com. Yeah. I like that. It shouldn't work, but it does. Dot com and yeah. different dances. On today's show, Greg will be performing the helicopter. <laughs> How are you dealing with the lockdown? I've been doing yoga. You, have you heard of Adrian, the girl in America who does online yoga? She's an online sensation. I haven't heard. Oh, man. I've been doing her 30-day yoga challenge. I did day seven yesterday. And um, do you know what I did? I did half an hour on the cross trainer yesterday, and I almost Ooh. vomited doing that. I've got a cross trainer that I normally <laughs> hang loads on. <laughs> yeah, I genuinely normally use it for hanging clothes on. Yeah. So I thought I better have a go on it. Yeah. So I did, I say half an hour, I did 15 minutes on it. And I, I was white. I looked awful. And I went straight from that into yoga. I thought I'm going to double it up. First time in my life I've done two forms of exercise. Mm. I'm just in a small pair of shorts, nothing else during this whole activity. I'm there. I finished that. Mm-hmm. In agony, I've almost been sick on the cross trainer. I'm now in muscular agony. And then I stood up and I walked out of my bedroom. And I've got a full length mirror just as you leave the bedroom. Oh, yeah. And I caught sight of myself in small shorts after two forms of exercise. I looked at myself and out loud I said, You cunt. <laughs> Why? Why don't we see workout videos like that? I've never seen Davina McCall finish a session and then attack herself. Wouldn't that be great? Just to see Mr. Motivator slap himself in the face and go, who are you kidding? I love that. That is how I felt about myself. And then I came in here and I heated up a frozen shepherd's pie. End of day. (laughs) I mean, it's beautiful. The main question we've had from our audience is, now, you are famously an ex-teacher yeah would you consider doing a teaching class for the nation like joe wicks no <laughs> now what i love is you're you're keeping the nation entertained oh about- the taskmaster stuff the oh nation. that's yeah. so such a joy isn't it yeah it's beautiful what um what's the latest one um uh, do something spectacular with, it with um a pair of trousers was the latest one but i mean honestly there can't be many advantages to to what's going on in the world at the moment but those videos bring me such joy they're so funny it's amazing isn't it because presumably you're getting thousands of them yeah so you have just all this all this hilarity smashed at you and then you give it back to us it's great man who who won who did the most spectacular thing with trousers well, my, my view was um, someone sellotaped a pair of trousers to a basketball, threw it over their house, and it, and it uh, went through a hoop on the other side of the house. Nice. Pretty spectacular. That is pretty wonderful. Um, we might actually be able to show that now. Oh, that'd be good. Question I've got to ask, what are you looking forward to most when this is over? I don't, I don't think I realised how often I would chat to a friend and give him a little hug before, uh, before that. So I'm probably looking forward to a nice hug, Russell. And I hope that you're, uh, I hope you're right up there. I hope you're in my top ten. Well, the last time I saw you was at my wedding and pretty much everyone at the wedding wanted to hug you. Yeah, there's a lot of hugging. Mm. There was a lot of people with thick accents wrapping themselves around my waist. Well, you've got that to look forward to. Thanks for coming on the show, man. Um, hey, not at all. Uh, it was a pleasure. And, um, you know, if you want me on again, I'm happy, I'll happily come on every day. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, that would be great. It's Enjoy the yoga. Nice, it's just nice to have a chat, isn't it? it I is mean, nice. last night, Russell, yeah. just, just, I'll let you go. Yep. But last night, just so you know, in, in case you want to check in on me more often, yeah. I had a very, very 
vivid dream that I was singing um, uh, Caught Up In Your Wishing Well by Wet 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 on stage. So, so it'd be nice if you checked in on me every now and again. Okay, I will do, mate. Um, Thanks. I mean, again, it's a lovely image to end the show. Hey, look after yourself. Stay will safe do. back there, everyone. Hey, mate. Take care. See you later. So that was Greg. Join me after the break when I'll be chatting to an inspirational postman and we'll have music from the brilliant James Bay. Welcome back, my friends. My next guest is a postman who's cheering up his customers by wearing a different fancy dress costume every single day. Please welcome Glenn Walton. Hi. Hello, mate. Uh, are you wearing a costume as we speak? Yes, I am in Thor from Marvel. Is that what it is? It's quite sort of busty. They look very... It's got like a plasticky foam chest. It's, um, it looks great. So, first of all, do you want to explain um, what's, what you decided to do? Well, yeah, I was just a bit down in the dumps, really, about all the doom and gloom surrounding the coronavirus. And I just wanted to cheer myself up and other people in the workplace and on my round. So I just decided to start wearing fancy dress. And you're not just making them smile, you're also raising money for charity, aren't you? Yes, I am. What's the name of the charity? It's the National Emergency Trust. It covers NHS, all people that can't get out to, to shops, food banks, just stuff that's in crisis, really. Amazing. And what kind of costumes have you been wearing? Oh, I've had all sorts. I've been doing it for a week. I've had Pikachu, Arna from Frozen... And where's Wally? I, I've seen one of you dressed as a dinosaur. I really like that. That and got the best reaction so far. People were coming out, cheering, clapping, throwing money at me. Now, as well as being a, a postman and a key worker, um, you're also a wrestler. Is that right? Yes, this is correct. For about a year and a half. What's your wrestling name? It's Posty Malone. Nice. That's all right. I come out with a, a bag on my shoulder with like little envelopes in with sweets for the kids. So I'm, I'm a baby face, good guy. So you hand out sweets before you fight? Yes. Wow. Everybody needs energy before a fight. That is true. But again, that, that's the most English wrestling move I can think of. I can't imagine the ultimate warrior handing out wham bars. No. <laughs> oh, what, wham bars. <laughs> what are you, what, what's your su- signature sweet to give away? Um, just whatever's on offer at Tesco. <laughs> Ah, nice. <laughs> I love that. It's just the idea of Hulk Hogan just doing the two for one section, just kind of going, oh, Christ. You got any, uh, you got any flying saucers? Sorry, Hulk, they're out of offer. <laughs> Great. Who would, you, who would you love to, to wrestle if you could wrestle anybody? Probably Stone Cold Steve Austin. Why, why him? So he could kick my head in. Really? You just, you'd like to take a batter in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's kind of slightly sadomasochistic. I thought like I most people that. would say, I'd like to bring Stone Cold down, but you're like, no, nah, I'd like him to kick my head in. <laughs> you know, but up in this area, I'll get you some tickets to the wrestling. You can come watch us. Oh, yeah, I'd love that, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I, well, maybe I could be your, uh, your kind of bitch and yeah. you could kind of beat me up. No, 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 you could be my uh, entourage. I like that. Yeah, yeah let's, let's... So... So what, how would I dress? Whatever you want. You've okay. got, got, to be, got to be female. Okay, female. Like, I will come as Judy Dench. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be Judy Dench. Um, you'll be dressed as a postman. And uh, I will, I'll throw fake dog turds at the audience. <laughs> and you'll, you'll have to, like, you not me. A good guy, if you're on my side. I have to be a good guy. Okay, yeah. right, I won't throw dog turds. Yeah, which, it's kind of a bad guy, I think. I was going to say, when, once you've knocked the other person out, I, I could just, as Judy, crouch down, fart in their face, and my move would be called the Dench Stench. <laughs> that Excellent. Works. Yeah? Well, that sounds yeah. like a date. Well, as soon as this is over, I'm going to get a Dane Judy Dench wig, <laughs> I'm going to have a big bowl of all bran and I'm going to fart on men in Mansfield. (laughs) That sounds like a deal. Um, Well, stay safe, my friend. And well done you. You're you're a key worker. You're bringing a smile to everyone's face. Really, really. And you're raising money for charity. You're an amazing man. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Stay safe. 
Thank you. And, um, until we meet again, my friend. Yep, excellent. Thank you very much, Russell. Yeah, buddy. See you later, man. Ta -ra. So, how should we end the show? How about with a song from the brilliant James Bay? Now, you're used to seeing James like this. <laughs> But me and James caught up earlier on, and he was like this. Uh, hello. Hey, man. <laughs> what does a, uh, a musician do when he's not allowed to leave the house? Because oh. I, I saw on Instagram that you've become a sort of a, like a guitar teacher. If I hadn't have done that, they'd been, they'd been way too, there would have been way too much FIFA played at this oh, point. Oh, really? So um, <laughs> FIFA or um, guitar tutorials? Um, I didn't actually, there wasn't a lot of thought given to it. it. I was trying to be instinctive. For a year when I was 18, when I finished school and before I knew what else to do, I just wanted to keep playing guitar, but I didn't have any money. So I did teach guitar for a little bit uh, oh, really? as, a, as, a, as a job, essentially, um, for a what, year. What are you, um, when this is over and it will be over, what are you looking forward to doing most? It's really, it came so quickly the first time even I asked myself that, and I'm sure it's the same for you. The experience, um, not, for, not for me in a sort of egotistical sense, but when I walk out on a stage, um, I'll say even when I go to a gig, it is, it is the gig atmosphere that I'm so looking forward to. I'm, I'm looking forward to giving my mates a hug, I'm not going to lie, but, and, and seeing my parents and my, you know, my brother, my, my friends and family. But the euphoria, I think, that will come the sort of wild euphoria that will come with, with live shows, uh, whether in the audience or on stage for everybody, mm. that's going to be, I'm like, I'm, you know, you know, when you see like a movie coming when you're a kid and you're like, Oh my God, when I go to the cinema and that comes up on the screen, I'm going to get chills. Mm. Yeah. I think, the, I think gigs are going to be truly insane and wild. I was saying to my friend, I think there'll be like Freddie Mercury parties in 1984. I think there'll be like, please, like, People will, people will rock up. There'll be topless people. You know, there'll be kind of tigers because people will be watching Netflix shows and buying tigers and bringing them. It's going to be like... People really, really overshooting the mark. Oh, just but, but real wild, you know, like insanity and hugging. It's, God, it's going to be insane. I'm looking forward to I cannot to wait for that. I cannot wait for that. But in the meantime, could, could I ask you a favour? Could you play a, a song? Let's try and create... Maybe there's people at home that have been built up to that feeling of euphoria. Could you play them a little song and that'd be quite nice. I will do my best from a small room in East London. Nice. Here goes. All right. Okay. Get ready to be the best thousands of people you've ever been. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure right. like, so everyone's ready. Like, I love the idea. Everyone's at home. Like, <clears throat> <laughs> be quite nice. I'll go into a delicate little riff. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh, back.
pictures of lonely That was fantastic and it felt i was very aware that obviously there's going to be thousands of people watching this hopefully millions of people but i was very aware that the only person you could see was me and i felt like it was almost a form of like rock and roll lap dancing it's so like, like, like I, I wanted to let you know that i was really enjoying the lap dance That's but awesome. obviously there's, there's no hands so i can't touch <laughs> But but I was and I didn't want to sing I didn't want to sing along because that would spoil it. But the, I love that song. So the temp temptation is to sing along, a bit like you know when you sort of have like some people have a dog and then they start singing a song and the dog joins in. It would have felt like that. But I really I really enjoyed that, mate. Oh, it was you, great. Man. Yeah, it was Thank really you. lovely. If you if you just sung along, it would have been uh, moving and. <laughs> yeah, but it would have it would have gone viral for very different reasons, James. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, did anyone else see that moment that Russell Howard ruined that classic? Um, <laughs> thank you so much, man. That was so oh, brilliant. Man. And um, uh, stay safe, and I will see you on the other side. See you then. See you, man. So that's the show. Thanks to all my guests. Thanks to you for watching. Uh, talking of you, um, get in contact with me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. I've got hashtag home time. Um, send me little tips, stories you'd like me to talk about, um, guests you'd like me to interview, whether they're famous or uh, everyday heroes. Um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully it'll put a smile on your face. Um, it's going to be every Tuesday and Thursday. And um, that's it. Yes, that is the end of the show. Thanks for watching. Sleep well and stay safe.